All right, y'all, so it's time for a quick tip. And today, instead of a quick lawn tip, this is gonna be a quick palm tip. And this is actually a tip about Sago palms or cycads and the scale that gets on them and not only makes them look nasty, but also will kill them if you don't take care of it over time. This is Cycad Alacaspis scale or CAS. And it's an armored scale that you'll find on Sago palms and other cycads. The female scales are the ones that are flat like pancakes and the ones that look like little grains of rice, those are the males. If left unchecked, these will kill your sago palms within a year or less. Here in South Florida, I usually treat them twice a year in late spring and again here in early fall using the method I'm gonna show you today. So the very best way to treat for this type of scale in cycads is this product here, it's called Safari. Now, this is a very expensive product. When you see it, you're gonna get sticker shocked, but I'm telling you, it works. You need to do this twice a year. I'll do this in late spring, and then I do this again in early fall. And this is down here in South Florida, so if you're somewhere a little further north where you get a winter that may give you some frosts or freezes, that'll help you in controlling these insects. But if you don't have that weather help, you're probably gonna need to do this twice a year. Okay, now the first thing is you wanna have some soil moisture present because you need this to get down into the roots and you also need to, the plant to be taking in thing, taking in moisture and other things from the soil. So you don't want to saturate them, but we've been five days now without rain, believe it or not. So we are putting, so I just want to make sure I have some soil moisture present. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a scale so you look like a proper drug dealer. Obviously you need your safari. Uh, I like to have a source that has some nitrogen in it as well as some sea kelp, but mainly the nitrogen. And the reason I want the nitrogen is because nitrogen is what's gonna make these actively grow. It does the same thing with grass. And really palms are just a big old grass. And the reason that that matters to me is because if they're actively growing, that means the chemical is gonna get through the plant as well. Sorry, there's construction going on across the street. This is a systemic insecticide, and what that means is it gets down into the soil, and then the roots take it in, and it gets inside the plant, and it kills the insects from the inside out. Basically, when they take a bite and they suck on the plant, they die. And so by putting in some nitrogen, I know that things are gonna be actively moving within this plant, which will then also actively take this safari throughout the plant. The sea kelp does the same thing. It's gonna stimulate some extra fronds. In fact, every time you use this, you'll notice new fronds will come up. So again, it's just stimulating fresh growth which tells me that the product is getting through and it's going to kill the bugs in the process. We'll go ahead and tear that off there. Okay, now as far as how much to use, for these smaller ones, I'm going to use 6 grams of Safari. And for these larger ones like these, because these are a good 3.5 feet tall, I'm going to use 8 grams. And that's a good rule of thumb to go by there, anywhere between 6 to 8 grams, 6 to the smaller ones, 8 to the larger ones. There we are, six grams, put that in my bucket. Put in a little water. Stir it around real good, a little more water. For this, we don't need a lot. Just four ounces is all we need for each palm. Doesn't take a lot to get the desired result we're looking for. Get that stirred around. You don't really need more than a couple gallons of water in here. Just wanna make sure, make sure it's good and agitated. After you do that, water it in a little bit. Doesn't take a lot of water again, just enough to get it moving down in there. And move on to the next one. So that's really it. Now, as far as how many can you get done, that 12 ounces there of product, if you do the math out there and you average it out, you're gonna get somewhere around 50 to 60 sagos done with one bottle of the Safari, with one 12 ounce jug or bottle of the Safari. So I can usually have that last. Now, I also use it on some of my larger palms and stuff. Those take a lot more, but if you're just doing sagos, like I said, you can get well over 50 of these done with just one bottle. So there you go. I hope this has been helpful to you. For those of you that have sagos or psych eds, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here for just quick tips, and I'll see you in the lawn.